Good morning, everybody. It's September 22nd, 2021. Hope my camera's focusing. So you can see here, in, in back in July, I ordered some coffee from Walmart. It was $9.98. And uh, there's supposed to be a coffee shortage because of the pandemic. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that it's gone up a little bit. It's now $12 or $10.12 for that same container of coffee. And the Cafe Bustello is another one that I like. It was 288 yesterday. Now it's 318. Uh, the 48 ounce container of Classic Roast is 212 and it was 998 yesterday. So these have all gone up overnight. Um, and and I'm I'm guessing the price is just going to, you know, it's just my opinion, but with the shortages we're seeing and the delays all this stuff comes from outside of our country. We don't grow coffee here. So th these things are just going to keep going up. So I, I recommend stocking up on coffee. Uh, you know, I've, I've drank coffee that was nine years old in a container. The can was a, a chock full of nuts brand. It was in a uh, sealed can. I found it. I had stashed away. It was nine years old. I opened it up. It was just as good as any of the stuff that I had opened recently in that brand and it was good coffee it was 100 percent colombian but anyway this is what i've been getting it's gone up a little bit and i think it's going to keep going up saw a story on the news about the shortages and the delays at the ports and the port of los angeles or long beach in california has 70 ships anchored off the port waiting to get into offload now the reason they're having a problem offloading is what they said on the news this morning that I watched. They said that it's because they don't have trucks to offload the containers onto to move it around the country. I have no insight on that. I'm not in that business. That would make sense. Otherwise, those ships wouldn't be piling up. Last week, there were 50 or 55 ships out there. This week, there are 70 or more, and they're saying that the, the reason that there are delays is because they can't get the cargo containers loaded at the ports that the products are coming from, you know, wherever those are. If they're in China, Asia, you know, other parts of Asia, or wherever they're coming from, they're having a problem getting them loaded. That doesn't make, that's not a good reason for why they're piling up at our ports over here. Okay, it, apparently they're getting them loaded or we wouldn't have 70 ships anchored off the port of Long Beach. So, you know, that's just, you know, that's just my logic. Anyway, I also wanted to do an update on the uh, price of meat, but I don't have it handy right here. I guess I could do a reorder on that as well and see what I got. Let's see, Keystone Meats. Uh, here, this is what we've got right now: 688 for a 28 ounce can of chicken, 688 for pork in a 28 ounce, one can of pork in 14.5 ounce is 24.42. Two cans of Keystone beef in 14 ounce cans is 35.46. That's a lot. That's like over 17 bucks a can. Keystone turkey is out of stock. Keystone beef in 28 ounce can is out of stock and it's been out of stock for well over a month. Keystone all natural beef in 14.5 ounce cans is out of stock. And the chicken Keystone 14.5 ounce can is out of stock. So there's your update for today on Walmart. Uh, just couple of things I thought I'd bring to your attention. Y'all keep prepping. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you're seeing where you are online and in the stores. I mean, I don't go to the stores if I don't have to. And I try to order stuff online, have it delivered. It saves me money. I don't have to drive anywhere. I live out in the sticks. Uh, sometimes I do have to go to the store, but I try to stay home. Crazy people out on the roads. So why go if I don't have to? Y'all take care. Keep prepping. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.